Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tatiana. I'm a business coach and a mentor for women wanting to start their own businesses. I'm very excited about today's topic because we're going to be talking all about email marketing, which if you have been around for any length of time, you already know it is one of my favorite topics. I have been using Flowdesk for about the last four or five years and have absolutely loved it. It really leveled up my business in so many ways. And so we're going to be talking about that. You really do get this nice user-friendly experience while also being able to create beautiful things easily. Um, it's so nice. So we're going to be diving into that to see how you can create professional and beautiful emails to really grow your business and do all of the things. I know when I finally leveled up, I saw so much growth in my business, just unmatched. I was able to create not only a consistent email that I was sending out every week that looked absolutely amazing, but also the ability to create forms and opt-ins and different things to keep people coming to my email list. Time and time again, people literally sign up for my email list through these amazing forms I've created and then they get these emails that I sent out. So today we're gonna to be talking a bit about how you can actually navigate through Flowdesk, what it is a little bit, and then I wanna show you how I'm actually gonna create an email that I'll be sending out for the week to my email list to just show you how simple it is. And today's video is actually in partnership with Flowdesk, which is always amazing because it is one of the tools that I use in my business, y'all, I'm not even lying multiple times a week. It is just one of those things that has really helped to grow my business. It's helped me to be more confident as a business owner to have something that is outside of just my social media followings, even outside of this channel. You know, it's nice to have a place where the people that I want to connect with that really resonate with my messages, I have a place for them where we can all come together. I can share about my business, things I have going on. Ultimately, what I love to do, encourage. And it's just really, really nice. And I've been able to do all of that with Flowdesk. So this is going to be an amazing and an informative video for you if you have been trying to figure out how to get email marketing and we're gonna learn about Flowdesk today and I'm sure after this video you might be a little bit curious about all of the things with Flowdesk so all of the information will be down in the description below and you'll be able to use my link to get your free trial started and then you'll get to get your hands-on experience to see exactly what I'm talking about so let's get into this okay so first things first when you log into Flowdesk one of the things that I really love is just how simple it is to navigate through their tabs so it's just it's amazing so they have a couple of different things here we have your emails your forms your workflows we also have checkouts which is a new feature that they recently uh, released so if you actually want to have a landing page with a place where people can actually purchase things from you it's amazing because you can have that right in one platform as well as audience and then your analytics so we're going to be spending a lot of time today in emails but i just wanted to briefly mention them so forms this is if you want to create those forms I mentioned, if you want to actually have some different opt-ins and things for yourself uh, to just kind of help to grow your email list. So whether it's like a free guide to do something or it's signing up for a free training or it's getting on a wait list or shoot, it could even be a coupon code or just getting on your general mailing list. There are a lot of reasons why you may have these different forms and opt-ins. Um, and then we also have workflows, which are pretty much once they sign up for that form, depending on how you have it set up, the workflow will automatically pour people into the sequence of emails that you have already scheduled out. So even if it's 10 emails, for example, or it might be just a few, they will send it out in the sequence that you want. So whether it's one day or a week or however long you want it to be, uh, it's really, really nice. And I use it all the time, especially for my different funnels, um, for promotions, when I'm doing challenges and just even certain opt-ins I have, there's just different emails that I have that are required to send out after. So I love it for that reason. Checkouts again, that's really where you're going to have a chance to create um, a place for people to check out literally right off of your um, flow desk, which is wonderful. You have your audience, which I am going to blur, blur this part out because it actually has people's emails on here. But this is a place where you can see everyone that is signed up for your email list all together. And you can also break them down by if they've purchased from you through checkouts and then also the segments. Now segments are fun because this is where you will actually be able to break people up for different reasons. So I also use Flowdesk for my internal things like my membership, one-on-one um, -on -one clients and things. And so I have different segments just based off of what's going on. And this is just a great way to have a grouping of them so you know why they're there, you know what the point of it is for them, and you can do a lot of things with your segments. Uh, and then you also have your analytics. 
and this is wonderful because this is where you can come and you can just see how your emails are actually doing how many people are subscribing and unsubscribing from you how many clicks you're having what emails did the best and you can kind of go back and really see like okay what resonated with my audience what were people really engaging with and so it's just really good to see all that information right here even just my top opt-ins we can see that it's my product creation planner and these are all of the different opt-ins that I've created that people sign up for on a regular basis and you can of course break this down based off of last 30 days and they also have the last week as well so definitely good and then of course you have your settings and different things like that where you can change so if you want to add your branding and your colors you can add custom fonts in here um, lots of fun stuff so the things that I wanted to show you today is actually over here in emails. So what we're going to do is create a brand new email and I'm going to show you how I would actually take an email that I've already written out for my email list and how simple it is to create something. So they have a ton of templates for you to look at already and they even have them broken down depending on what you need. So if you're looking for something promotional, you might click on make money and see what's going on with that maybe you want to say thanks i always love inspiring so i click on inspire sometimes just to see keep in mind all of these templates are completely customizable so what you see is not what you get because you can either keep it that way but you can also change things out which i absolutely love too so even if there's just a piece of something you like um, and i'll show you within there you can always add that to a different type of email you can also just start from scratch you can have just plain text if you don't want all of those bells and whistles in your email lots of different options here so i'm actually going to show you all um let's see and you can even see these are some of my different ones that i've used because i have some favorite emails that i've created and i just duplicate the ones i make especially my weekly newsletter i kind of have a pretty simple setup for that but for today i'm going to just show you how easy it is so we're going to actually click on plain text for this one and i'm going to go with this because this was what I initially started with for my weekly newsletter that I sent out is just this plain text one. It already drops some stuff in for you. It will populate the logo that you add into the branding of your account settings. So that will already be there or you can add it in and it will link it to the site automatically just from your settings, which is nice but you can always delete that. Everything is right here. As you hover over sections and click on them, your different options are here. You can either duplicate a section, you can delete it, or you can see what options you have over on the side. So for this particular section, not a ton. I can change the background color of it if I want to. And then I can also add some padding if I'd like. So I'm actually going to um, delete or I'm actually going to undo those things and then up here you can also see their spacing you can delete that and it's the same with every block everything is in a block and then let's say you want to add something you can hit the little plus button and this is great because this is where you will actually be able to add those layouts so like I said you know if I said what you see is not what you get it's because you still can come in and you can change things up so right within the layout you have all of these different options here tons of things you can do to make it beautiful y'all like how simple is this like something like this if you try to design this could take a while just to figure out like okay what do i want the placement to be but this is simply just picking something you like popping some text in adding a photo and going along with it and i actually used to use this for my um, weekly newsletter template back in the day so i'm going to keep this here and we'll kind of go with this maybe let's just put something inspirational here really quick And we'll pop in a cute photo it's so simple as you click on these different sections all i did was just double click to change that i can also change the color of the font i can actually change the font itself if i want to they have a ton already preloaded or like i mentioned you can actually load your own fonts on which is really cool and then you can also change alignment and different things like that the photo very simple any types of photos you can just upload your image i'm going to drop one in really fast for us okay so this is just what i'm going to use for right now um, as you can see you can also drag things up and down too um, over here i'm actually going to adjust what i want to show in the photo i probably would never actually use this but just for the sake of this video we'll go with it and then let's change the color just so we can see it over my hair okay we'll go with that for now um, but all of this stuff can be changed even down to the arrow so if you click you have your block settings over here so I can either show the arrow or I cannot show the arrow. Um, I can change the entire background of this block if I want to. If I wanted to just be a different color, there's that option as well. So 
really, really fun. I think I'm actually going to not show the arrow and we'll just leave it like this for now. Then down here we have text. They already have it formatted, but all of this can be changed. There's a ton of font options on here, as you can see. Um, one of my personal favorite ones that I love to use is Helvetica. I use that pretty much for all of my emails that I send out. It's just a, kind of like a graphic design staple font, honestly, and I really enjoy it. So it's very easy to read and pretty pleasing on the eye. Okay, so we're actually gonna pop in some text from one of my previous emails that I just recently sent out so you all can get a feel of how I do this. So I basically just take this, of course delete it, and then I'm gonna add in the copy that I wrote. And then once you double click in your text, you have more formatting options right here. So I can bold it, italicize it, and do all of the things. You can also add in, if you want to turn something into a type of bullet or a numbered list, you can also link text from here. You can add attachments and different things. So when they click on it, and also they have that fun feature. So if you wanted to, let's say for example, add in a name, I could say, hey, at and then I can put what I wanted to be. So most of the time it might be their first name, but they do have a couple other options for you as well. So I'm just gonna put first name and then if for some reason their first name's not in there, you can put a filler text or just leave it. So you might put friend, for example, and then that just means if you don't have their first name on file in the system for Flowdesk, then it will automatically just insert the word friend in there. And that is pretty much it for the text portion. Now, if I wanted to add another photo or something, I could add one. Uh, with my actual email, I do have where some text is right here and it's actually larger. So I'll show you that really quick. And then my brand colors are already in here so I can just click on something to change it. And then because this was the template, always make sure if you use a template, double check just to make sure there's no extra things in there like someone's name Jessica for example so you can change it to your own name you could completely delete the section as you guys have seen another fun thing you can do is you can embed your Instagram account and it will actually pull from the Instagram that you have set up through your settings and so many options you can embed videos so that's what I actually do in my newsletter I have a video thing that I embed and I actually drop a link so I'm gonna go grab a video link really quick from my channel Okay, so we'll drop that in and then it'll actually populate the thumbnail for you. I always remove the text here, but you can of course type something if you want. And then I'll usually have a little blurb about the video above it. Okay, and then I might sign off and just say have an amazing week. You can duplicate sections again. so. I'm just going to drop that down there. And then just as a last thing, let's say I wanted to feature a product or something like that. If I go back over into this layouts section, there are a lot of different ways that you could do that. So sometimes you might use like the testimonial if you're trying to do something maybe you have a sale where people can get something off a percent off of something so let's go with that maybe let's do like a promotional thing I'm gonna change the color of this okay I'm gonna completely do an overlay so I don't have to add an image to this and then I don't have a personal branding suite but we'll just go with it um, maybe there might be a space or a divider that you can add and we'll call it a day. Now you can play around with this all day long and set it up. What I love to do though, is once you kind of love it, you can save it as a favorite and then it's something you can constantly reuse, especially if you're sending out a weekly newsletter. You don't need to reinvent the wheel every week. So it's great to really take your time, figure out what you like, and then you have it to use. Or if you want to freshen it up every week, you have so many different templates as you all saw to use. So once I'm done with this email, let's say this is good. We'll go ahead to next. And here's where you can say who it's coming from in the email. Again, it's gonna pull it from your settings, but you can change these things depending on what you have in your settings. And then you also can have your subject line. I always say try to come up with something catchy. 
For this particular email, the subject line is going to be get back to you. Okay, so, and then I just added a little preview text in, something inside for your heart and mind. You don't have to do the preview text, but I always think it's nice. It just kind of gives that extra incentive for them to open it. Lastly, this is where you add those segments we talked about. So if you want to send it to your entire email list, you can just say all subscribers. Or if you have a specific group you want to send it to, like if I'm just sending it to my membership or if I'm just sending it to people for my vision board party or whatever the case is, I have everything broken up into segments. We'll have to do a whole different video on that. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and say all for now. And then you can also exclude people. So if there's a specific group from the bigger group that you don't want to, like let's say if you're sending it to everyone about a new item that's coming out, but you want to exclude people that have already purchased it, that could be a good way to kind of look at that. So you hit save and then you can also continue. And from there you can figure out if you want to send the email now or later. I usually always schedule them unless I'm a little last minute, which does happen. And then we can schedule it. So I'm going to schedule it for Wednesday and we'll go ahead and just do the best time in the morning or you can do a custom time. So I'll just say 8 a.m. for Wednesday and then hit schedule. So it's that simple. You schedule it. It'll double check you want to schedule it and then that's it. So now it'll be over in your email panel waiting to send out to people when you are all ready. So that's a bit of Flowdesk. That is how you can simply just take your ideas of the things you want to do, turn it into a very beautiful, visually pleasing email. Super easy, y'all. Y'all saw how quick it was for me to create this in just about 10 minutes, honestly. And most of that was me showing you around, but it's really easy. And once you really get that first template set up, it's even quicker because you literally are just dropping in some text, probably changing a couple images, linking some things. And it is just so seamless and easy to use. It's been one of my my favorite things that I do every week is just sending out my weekly newsletter and I also love just all of the features and now that they've really upped the analytics as well so now there's even more exciting features about it because you can really see like okay what's working what's not working they've recently just made the analytics so much better so that's just even another reason why I'm loving it so that is all I hope you enjoy this tutorial all about how to create your professional and beautiful emails using Flowdesk all of the information will be linked down below. Thank you so much to Flowdesk for partnering with me on this video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!